Let's apply the concept of greatest common factor or GCF when solving a word problem. In this case, Jackie is making bracelets using red beads and green beads. She has 20 red beads and 24 green beads to begin with. We need to find what is the greatest number of bracelets she could make using these. Also, we need to find how many red beads will be in each bracelet as well as how many green beads will be in each bracelet. She has 20 red beads to begin with. Let's list the factors of 20. 20 can be obtained using 2 times 10. 10 is not a prime number, which means I can break the 10 using 2 times 5. She also has 24 green beads. Let's list the factors of 24. 24 can be obtained using 2 times 12. And 12 can be broken down further using 2 times 6. Since 6 is not a prime number, let's break the 6 further using 2 times 3. Moving forward with finding the greatest common factor, we can see that the number 2, shaded in pink, is common for both 20 and 24. The 2, shaded in green, is also common for the number 20 and 24. There are no other numbers that are common for both the numbers. Hence, the greatest common factor of 20 and 24 is 2 times 2, which is 4. Going back to the question, what is the greatest number of bracelets she could make? Since we found the greatest common factor, we now see Jackie can make 4 bracelets. Moving to the second part of the question, how many red beads will be in each bracelet? As well as we need to find how many green beads will be in each bracelet. Remember, we found the greatest common factor. Let's remove them from the list. As you can see, there are five red beads in each bracelet, and there will be two times three, which is six green beads in each bracelet.